there was uh, there the, was yeah, the Harappa culture, Harappa culture in, 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 in India. Yes, the, the, yes, the, the general the, understanding, general understanding is that, is that uh, going back to going about, back to about uh, uh, the middle, yes, of, the the middle of the third millennium, you see, there was already, there was already an urban, urban uh, civilization, uh, civilization in India, which, which has been called the Indus Valley Civilization in the northwestern part of India. Part of India. And, they, and had they had their, their religion, own religion or their own or kinds, their own of, kinds spiritual, of spiritual uh, um, practices, practices uh, uh, that, that uh, may not have been the same, have been as, the what same as what we get in the Veda. So the Veda, so the Veda brings, in brings in something new, something a, new a new cosmology, a new understanding, a new understanding of man's place, of man's place in, the, in, the, in, the in, the, in the universe. And perhaps, and perhaps new practices. New practices. As, I as I recall from our prior interview, interview in, in the Indus Valley culture, uh, it's very likely that yoga practices began there. Yes, very likely. Very likely. From the seals, from the seals we, get the we get the signs of, uh, of uh, what we later, later call yoga. And we see in these seals that have survived representations of many animals suggesting a kind of shamanistic yoga culture that existed before the very first Vedas. Absolutely. And I've surmised, I've surmised that that particular that layer of shamanistic, shamanistic practice, practice comes, uh, comes uh, out of forest, forest yoga, yogas that perhaps, that perhaps coexisted with this urbanization that took place in the Indus Valley and that remained, and that remained a certain, layer, a certain of layer of practice that is encountered, that is encountered later by, uh, by Indian, uh, Indian uh, spiritual, uh, spiritual uh, seekers. seekers. Mm-hmm. So the, the so Rig Veda is characterized by... by uh, I suppose amongst, I suppose other amongst other things, a, 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 a new pantheon, a new set of deities. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's an entire new, cosmology, entire new cosmology with new deities, with new deities and they belong, and they belong to, a to a certain system, system uh, of, 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 of relations that, uh, that uh, gives us a new view of the, of the human, the human in the, place in the, in the cosmos. And one of the other great mysteries in the Rig Veda that people refer to a lot is this Mysterious substance Soma, called of Soma. Course, yes. Of course, yes, yes. Soma. Uh, Soma. Uh, there, 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 are there, entire, there are entire uh, sections, of, sections the of the Rig Veda that, that are concerned with Soma. With Soma. So, so definitely, this, definitely the, the, Soma the Soma hymns constitute a certain, kind of, a certain kind of practice and a certain kind of, uh, approach. Kind of uh, approach. Eat too low, ho li fook, and bang ding ow. In the NTSB, has confirmed these are the names of the pilots on board Flight 214 when it crashed. We are working to determine exactly what roles each of them played during the landing on Saturday. So, so. Get the test. Get the test. That's fine. Much as you can. Much as you can. I do have. I do have. Breaking information. Breaking about information the about the test that you're never, never going to hear anywhere else. And I did. And I did. I did watch, I did watch the, video the video before this. Before this, so I'm going to edit try to edit as much as I can. If you want to see the full version. So. <laughs> honestly, honestly, the world is a densification of astral somehow mixed with some stuff. You go and grab some of the stuff that you know. I used to try to say, like, it's almost like it's shimmering. If you can notice certain things are of a different quality. I don't know if you... I don't, I don't know how to explain. I think it could be different for other people. Your different perceptor will kick in and you'll notice. I've done this in my own personal life. I noticed I pulled some of these strands to see and they just kept coming. They, they connected to they're right back to itself. So I'm like, oh, this is something else. It's like certain things in your environment 
you can add that too. You can add that by just adding your attention and then putting your hands, both one hand and then the other hand, on the rug and you can pull the fucking rug out from underneath. And then you get to watch the chaos ensues as the world will dissolve. The one thing that remains, when you pull the carpet, you, you always pull the carpet too. Pull it quick. And then it's like, you don't want to have your, what do you call that stuff on the table? All the settings and shit. You pull it and you leave that stuff there, but whatever, you're going to end up with a table with just one vessel on it. All the other ones weren't there. And that'll disturb the fuck out of you the first time. So you add some, I'm progressing you through time on my experience. I've done this in my house now because I know I'm in a trailer. I know that this oncoming energy that working with is hitting the side from the west of this, the trailer it'll process through it never it will go through the walls whatever it's a time thing and then shoot out the front well now it has shot out the front and is focused into two direct beams and one is has been pulled further away and into the shed directing out into a focus and the other one is in my living room where I can sit the chair and look out the door and that is the other one and those areas have a an eclipse thing where whatever is being worked on is continually remaining in every other alternate reality but it's like that it's like you're accessing some sort of looping wheel and I do have a, uh, a visual of this Try to do this on purpose. No. What I said was I added my intention very deliberately. One hand on one side, because I'm left-handed, so you can imagine. And then firmly on the other side. Then I somehow got a signal and I jerked the motherfucking non theoretical this happens. What you feel like you're doing even making this video. Oh fuck! And the guy with the propeller on his back trying to fly, he's not flying, he's falling to his death. That's what it feels like. Something wrong, okay. <laughs> Very much it's their plane, there's an airplane in it. This is a damn good book. One is not to form into anything. You're not making for yourself a spaceship. No, no, no. But you're harnessing the physics involved. Oh yeah, definitely. This can be done. It should be tried. And gosh darn it. Tesla shields are nothing. I have some of this stuff for this. I do have this. I have one of these. I've manipulated it into something else, but I kept getting these weird messages. A lot of the things that are the programs that we have running either in our front or background doesn't matter. I mean, you're gonna, you know, what you become aware of, you're gonna have to interact with and then let it, let it go like everything else. But a lot of it is this Tesla shit. I do believe that around my physical location, called my home, that the next stage begins because I am continually going to remain in belief that this bubble, that this plane is not able to penetrate as you see here in the middle is the Tesla scalar wave system. And that's shield. But, but 
why do you believe that you can do this? I believe that the human mind, having directed itself certain ways, is more efficient than the technical machines that are derived, especially in the world and the configuration that I find it, which is identified astral, appearing as natural world. So that's messed up. Yeah, it is, but it still gives us a lot more wiggle room than ever before. And that's a fact.